Hi, I'm Dr. Alan Widener from Massage Chair Relief, and today is our bi-weekly massage chair industry update for Monday, September 9th, 2024. Thank you for joining me. Uh, in terms of sales uh, for September, uh, the only ones that I, I believe we have right now are is um, the, uh, the Ogawa and Svago sales, and they are uh, the same sales as they had last month, the latter half of last month. So you can still get the free NAMI with the purchase of the uh, Ogawa Master Drive AI 2.0 massage chair. And uh, so anyways, they usually have very good discounts on their chairs. We, uh, uh, and, they're, and, and the sales they offer are quite regular. Uh, we haven't got anything from anybody else uh, for, for, the, for right now. As a matter of fact, at, for Labor Day, it was a very, very slow Labor Day in terms of sales that were being offered by the distributors. Of course, we have sales in our showroom, and and uh, but but you can get those all year round when you come to a showroom or give us a call. But uh, anyways, uh, that's about it as far as published sales go. To get an update on what we have on sale, like uh, regularly or uh, uh, perpetually, you can go to our website, uh, and in the navigation bar, you'll see new chair specials. Go ahead and uh, click on that link, and you'll be able to see what uh, what 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 discounts and sales. And of course, sales aren't always a price discount. Sales could be they're paying for white glove delivery or they're paying for extra extended warranty or whatnot. Those are some of the extras that uh, that you'll find uh, in the sales. It's not just always, uh, it's not always or just price de decreases. Okay. So we've added a few new chairs, actually five new models to the website. Uh, two Osaki chairs, the Bravo Duo, which is a, is a split track. Uh, and then the Nexus, which is a Japanese chair, uh, LSL track, uh, not a split track. Uh, the, the Panasonic MAF1, which is uh, kind of a compact, uh, lower priced Panasonic chair. The Koyo 303TS, uh, which is also a Japanese made chair. Uh, and, uh, uh, and, uh, and again, a lower price point. Uh, Koyo and Panasonic are distributed by Furniture for Life, same company that does Oco and Positive Posture and Katana. And then we also have the True Crown 8D chair uh, from, the, from the company called True, T-R-U. And that is a split track as well. It has four rollers on the top, four rollers on the bottom uh, for a total of eight rollers and th thus the name 8D. Uh, so those are the five new models that we have. You can check those out uh, anytime. And of course, you can check our comparison chart on our website that compares any chair on our website uh, uh, and, and it compares a list of, I think it's 50, over 50 features, uh, you know, that chairs typically have or don't have, like L-Track versus S-Track versus uh, calf rollers, arm rollers, leg roller or foot rollers, um, you know, where air, certain airbags, how many airbags, how many programs, uh, dimensions. I mean, the list goes on and on, the weight, the weight restrictions and the height limits. So uh, take a look at our, our massage chair, our, our massage chair comparison chart. You can also take a look at the My Chair Finder software where you can plug in certain aspects uh, or certain features or certain um, needs that you have in purchasing a new chair. It'll help you isolate or sequester the chairs that fall under the categories that you're looking for. For example, maybe you're looking for only an Osaki chair. Uh, so you can select the Osaki brand. Let's say you have a, a budget of five to eight thousand dollars. You can select that, you know, those ranges. Uh, let's say you want a chair that, uh, that has an L track. You can select that feature. Let's say you want a chair that has uh, foot rollers or calf rollers. You can select all those different features that you want, and uh, and you can also put in your height and your weight to make sure you've got chairs that'll fit you. Uh, anyways, uh, take a look at those two softwares, and that's uh, that is. Uh, we have all the all the models that we carry will have that information. Uh, okay, so our podcast last week we finished with uh, part two with Justin Milne, who's our resident uh, expert uh, uh, massage chair repairman. He doesn't work for us, but we contract him as we do all uh, uh, technicians in our lifetime labor warranty program. And, and Justin does all of our lifetime labor warranty repairs in Utah for us, and he's been doing it for us for ten years. For the, and so for those of you who have heard from any of our competitors that oh, we're eventually going to go out of business because of our lifetime labor warranty, well, we've been doing it for 20, <laughs> 20 years, and the companies that say that have not been around nearly that long. So 
the, the, just FYI, uh, Justin is our Utah guy, and he does all the repairs for us. And uh, and uh, anyways, he's he talks about a lot of good things, a lot of interesting things. And the this part two, part one, if you remember, or if you were privy to to the to watching that one. Uh, we ran, uh, the internet connection dropped. And so we had to stop after 30, 35 minutes. And so we had part two and I was expecting another 30, 35 minutes, but it ended up being over an hour for, for part two, uh, not just because of the information that we were asking uh, Justin about or that Justin offered to us. It was also comments and questions from people that were are attending the broadcast. So, um, you know, if you want to hear what a technician has to say, and, and what's interesting about a technician is he's not biased towards a certain distributor or a certain retailer. He's just, he just knows what chairs are, are problematic, uh, what chairs need, where the common uh, breakdowns are, where the common components are that need to be replaced. Uh, and, uh, but you know, and one of the customers asked, you know, so which company is the best and which companies are worst? And that's a, that's a difficult question to ask because as we discuss in the, in the, in the broadcast, it's very fluid. Support industry is very fluid in these massage chair companies. Uh, I think of uh, uh, a company like, and I hope Osaki doesn't mind me saying this. Osaki, when I first started with them, their customer support was, their focus was on sales. And so their customer support was not as strong. And so we struggled sometimes getting chairs uh, to, or customers taken care of that had repairs. But then they made a huge shift. And I think I have mentioned this before, but they made a huge shift in their support department. And now they've got a very strong support department. And so that's a company that maybe at one time I would have said, well, Osaki might be weaker, but now they're very strong. Uh, another company like Infinity has always had a history of strong support, but then they had a little glitch where they had a, some turnover of some staff and it took a while for them to train their new people and they trained them thoroughly. Infinity's got a very strong customer support department in terms of knowing about their chairs. And uh, anyways, uh, you know, they, they I remember mentioning that to their principals and they they emailed me, two or three of them emailed me and said, you know, we're working on this. We, we're having turnover. And so we're, we're training people. And so they now but they're now back to normal. So uh, so it kind of it's kind of fluid. Human touch. We found at, at uh, early on, we're very strong with the customer support. Then they had a little glitch where they were kind of I don't know if they were trying new software or trying new uh, uh, service providers. I'm not sure how it was what was going on but it kind of uh, slowed down their support, but now it's back up again. So now it's back to the way we expect it. So it's kind of hard to say if one is better than the other, it's kind of fluid. It's like, it's like those, uh, <laughs> those top five massage chairs, you know, that first of all, half of those are crap because three, two or three out of the five aren't even in, around anymore. They're all discontinued or the companies are out of business. And so I, I don't like those reports, and I and I, I hope I'm not offending anybody, but I think those are crap reports. Uh, they're just basically uh, affiliate uh, sales mechanisms for people to make money that aren't in the industry, but are trying to make money off of uh, uh, com off uh, Amazon commission as, for being affiliates with them. But anyways, ha having said that, I, I digress. But uh, having said that, uh, things are very fluid in, in the industry. So what might be the top chairs this year or this quarter or this half of the year might be completely different next quarter or next half of the year or the next year altogether. So things are, it's hard to say these are the best chairs. It's hard to say these are the, uh, th th this, these are the companies that have the best customer support. Uh, you know, we wouldn't even have, we wouldn't even carry chairs of, of, of companies if they didn't have a reasonably good, if not excellent customer support department. And so, uh, but that, that, but anyways, we talked about things like that. And we also talked about the difference between, cause we're, he, uh, Justin is seeing more of the two to $3,000 chairs that he's working on because people, number one are buying, cause they're being advertised online. These, uh, you know, kind of, we call them disposable chairs because you buy them, they're cheap. Uh, if they don't fit right, you, you can send it back. But uh, if you keep it and it breaks down, it, you can, it's hard to get support. They don't have in home, they don't have in home repairs. Uh, they they are hard to get a hold of for support, and so they end up calling us and asking us for uh, help getting their chair fixed, and we refer them to to to, uh, to Justin. But Justin can't fix a chair if it needs new parts, and he can't get the new parts from the company. So we were talking about these two to three thousand dollar chairs versus the prime or premium, you know, high end luxurious chairs that we principally sell. And the reason we sell them is because they have better customer support, better parts support, better uh, better uh, uh, response rates to customer issues, la-di-da, et cetera, et cetera. 
Well, and he said, and I, he said, you get what you pay for in the massage chair industry. So it's not like someone has, they've got a $2,000, $3,000 chair that is regularly 16000 in another, uh, you know, by from another company. Or they say, this chair is $10,000 and we've knocked the price down to two. So anyways, though that, that kind of stuff is sketchy to me and it, made, it makes me uncomfortable. And I know there's a lot of people that are shopping that you know, a lot that say, hey, man, they're, they've got $8,000 or $6,000 off on their on their $10,000 chair. And now it's only $3,000 or $2,895 or whatever. Uh, yeah, that, that's kind of a sales ta tactic, as you probably know. But uh, anyways, you do get what you pay for. If you pay, if, if the chair is selling for cheaper, that means it's probably made with cheaper components, probably made in a smaller factory. And a smaller factory means you're going to get poor quality control and you're going to have a higher failure rate. The premium chairs have failure rates already that we, uh, that we have to deal with. The cheaper chairs have even higher failure rates. And so he talks about that and, and it wasn't, it was, this was nothing that was pre-planned or pre-discussed. This is all off the cuff with Justin and with our customers asking questions, but uh, he has no allegiance to any chair model brand other than he might like a particular chair roller mechanism, or he might like, uh, you know, the ease with which a chair can be fixed versus another chair, but he fixes them all. And uh, if, as long as he's got parts and he's got support from the company that, that sold the chair. And uh, he says, you know, the, the two $3,000 chairs are not the same as the premium chairs. They're cheaper because they're made cheaper, because they're made with cheaper components. They're made in a smaller factory. They, they don't have the best quality control, et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on. And I preach about this till the bloody cows come home, and, I, and people still don't get it. They just want the cheapest chair. And you know what? As I've said before, that, that serves a, a purpose in our market because not everybody can afford a premium chair, but everybody could benefit from a massage chair. So you take your chances, you get a $2,000 massage chair, and maybe it lasts you a year, maybe it lasts you two years. Well, then you buy another one. And uh, but, you know, but once people get in a massage chair and they feel what it does for them, it's hard when they can't when it breaks down, they don't and they don't have it anymore. We, I, boy, oh boy. I mean, I hear about it when people uh, have a chair breakdown, they're panicking. Some people panic. They want to get their chair fixed because it's the only thing that helps them with their, uh, you know, their restless leg syndrome. Or it's the only thing that we've got one customer that helps them with their uh, uh, their after their leukemia treatments. It's the only thing that helps them relax. And, and, and relax the muscles and all that. So these people, they rely, these dear customers, they rely on the chair. Others, it's just for, you know, some relaxing or stress management or, or for the kids or whatever. But for some people, it's a very, very important part of their therapeutic regimen. So anyways, uh, again, I, I probably talked too much about that than, than I needed to. But that was that's anyways that was a great podcast and so if you want to go listen to it, you can you can listen to it uh, through uh, Apple Podcasts. But by the way, our broadcasts are video broadcasts, so you see them on YouTube, Facebook, on our website, uh, uh, Twitter, uh, our Twitter account. But then we take we strip the audio and we put it in the podcast, so you can listen to it uh, while you're driving or working or or uh, or walking or whatever. You don't have to have a video in front of you to to to, to watch it. You can listen to it on Apple Podcasts, on uh, uh, Spotify, I was going to say Shopify, Spotify, you can uh, on Deezer, on, uh, so there, there's, you can pretty much anywhere you want to go, you can listen to the podcast and subscribe. You'll be notified. I, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and the podcast and be notified of both or one or the other. And then you can just uh, have the, you know, immediately listen to the podcast. So anyways, uh, speaking of podcasts, our next one is September 16th, and we, we up to this point, we've been doing this for about a year now, uh, and we typically don't uh, we typically don't talk about uh, you know just dedicate uh, a, a, a a broadcast to just talking about one chair. We usually talk about companies, about the industry. We talk with the heads of the companies to give us insights uh, to the industry and you know what's going on in their companies. Because a lot of this stuff is pertinent to people that are buying chairs. And then that way you can also see the faces of the people that we claim of the company, the faces of the people who run the companies that we claim are good, reputable companies. And so you'll be able to see, uh, you know, that these are companies that aren't afraid to, to uh, they're not hiding behind something that like uh, cheap advertising or, 
or uh, you know whatever uh, they, they don't want to face the music, so to speak. So, but anyways, needless to say, uh, there's uh, there's there's a podcast coming up with Human Touch with uh, Eric BD. He's the uh, special events program coordinator, and Kathy Lou, who's the online sales manager, and Kathy's our account manager. Eric is like um, he 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 like coordinates all the national sales of uh, you know through the road shows and and the displays where they have their chairs up or the you know, home shows or whatever and he knows about the novo x inside and out he's he's and he also knows about the 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 the, the, the supernovo 2.0 uh which we will talk about a little bit as well that's the newer that's also a new model but the the supernovo x is like their brand new baby and it's quite a departure from the old novo still kind of looks the same but the technology is very very different and so uh, they're going to be joining us on September 16th, which is a Monday. We usually have them a little later in the week. But because of our crazy schedules between us, me and them, uh, we worked out September, uh, September 16th. And that'll be 2 o'clock p.m. Mountain Time, which is 1 o'clock p.m. Pacific, 3 o'clock Central, 4 o'clock, uh, 4 o'clock Eastern. And if you're from Prince Edward Island, which uh, in the last couple of years I've learned, I have three birth sisters that live in Prince Edward Island. They, and when I met them, they told me that it's, it's 5 o'clock their time at two o'clock our time in mountain time. So it's Eastern time is for, for Americans, Eastern time is like, that's the furthest it goes for Americans. But if you move up, uh, you know, across the Canadian border, there's even more out going out on the Atlantic uh, to a whole different time zone. So uh, I remember when I grew up, they'd say, uh, they, they used to say, uh, I can't remember, they always have the Labrador time or, or Newfoundland time or something, but th there's different time zones out way out east. And so if you're if you're from eastern Canada, uh, you know, uh, uh, make sure and you're watching the, the, the broadcast, make sure you're aware that it is two o'clock mountain time. and You'll work your time out from there. But anyways, we're looking forward to have them. Uh, you can you can and, you, and to watch you go to our YouTube channel, which is YouTube.com slash massage chair relief or our Facebook page, which is Facebook.com slash massage dot chair dot relief. Or you can go to our website, which is massage-chair-relief.com, and the homepage will have it broadcasting uh, on the right-hand side of the uh, first banner that you see. And it's on the right-hand side, and it'll go live at that time. You cannot make comments and quest or ask questions on the website uh, banner on the website uh, broadcast, but you can on Facebook and on YouTube. So, anyways, we're looking forward to have uh, Eric and Kathy uh, uh, join us. Uh, also, our, our lifetime labor warranty, as you know, our lifetime labor warranty, uh, regardless of what, <laughs> what our competitors may say, our lifetime labor, labor warranty is legit. And uh, we cover all the labor uh, service calls after the factory warranty expires for as long as you own your chair. Uh, now, uh, we it does not apply to commercial chair use. Like, let's say you're getting a chair for, like we have our, our chairs at the International Airport here. Uh, you know, that's they get high traffic and it's not for the uh, for the customers. It's for the staff that work there. And we've got one in all their main buildings and uh, they get worn out, man. These things get worn out. And it's, so it's hard to do a lifetime labor warranty on a chair that's going to get that could get beat up pretty bad. So uh, so we you know, a couple of weeks ago or, or I think two or four weeks ago, I wrote an article about commercial warranty coverage uh, from each of the distributors that we carry chairs for. And it's very different from company to company for the most part. Uh, and, and so some have, you know, a one year labor coverage. Others have six months. Other, others have no labor coverage. Uh, but we will, for us, we have now added uh, a modified, it's not a lifetime labor warranty, but it is a modified warranty for commercial customers. People that are buying chairs for their stores or for their banks or for their law, law firms or for their, uh, uh, you know, oil changing place or whatever uh, and uh, that or hospitals. And we will give you one year uh, labor coverage after the factory warranty is expired. If there's no factory warranty, you'll get one year labor coverage for sure. And if it's, uh, if it's, uh, you know, if it's, they've got one year coverage or whatever, then you'll, you'll get an additional year of labor after that. And this is irrespective of parts coverage. If the company has parts coverage, that's parts coverage and it's done after that. But anyways, uh, and, but I will, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about commercial coverage in uh, subsequent uh, events or su subsequent broadcasts. Okay. And uh, finally, I want to talk a little bit about it's, it's okay. So 
our, our industry, the, the massage chair industry, has done a wonderful job of screwing up people's understanding of certain terms. So uh, we, <laughs> the massage chair industry, will will use terms like S track and L track. The S track, as you know, is the following of the 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 the, the, the Roller track will follow the curve of the spine, which is in an S shape. And then the L track is a continuation of the S track underneath the seat. So now you've got rollers under your butt. So now you've got an S track and an L track. Well, it used to be just called S tracks and L track chairs. Now people call them, or then people started calling them SL tracks. And so now people think that an SL track is an L track with an S track. It is. But if they see that a chair, a chair has an L track, they think it doesn't have the S track. So we've got we've gone about confusing people, and so I get questions all the time, and I got two last week about this. So it's important to understand what an S track and an L track is. There, let, let me put it to you this way: there is pretty much no full featured massage chair in the industry today that does not have an L track. There's maybe one that I can think of, and that's the Cagra, the Cinca Cagra. It has a straight has a straight track, but has rollers that can go forward and back into each of the curves to fill the curves of the spine. But other than that, 99% of the full featured chairs have an S track, whether it's an S track chair or an L track chair. An L track chair is just a continuation of that S underneath the seat. So when you see SL and then you see L track, it is the same. No difference. If you see just an S track chair, well, then you know that you have the S the S track roller track going down your back, but it stops at your low back. It does not go underneath your butt. So I hope that's clear because it's confusing and oh, it's like, well, I don't know. I could go. There are so many things that are confusing that can confuse customers in our industry, like the eight D, six D, four D, three D, two D. Um, I've talked about that or talking about chromotherapy or air ionizers or, uh, I don't know, 10 rollers versus eight rollers versus six rollers, seven rollers. Like people don't even know what this means. And you may be listening to me right now going, what does he mean by a 10 D or eight D <laughs> or, or what does it mean? Eight rollers. I, you know, so there, there is a vernacular in our industry. Um, and you know, by golly, some of it's confusing and some of it we've created ourselves. We've created this stuff ourselves. And, uh, and when I say ourselves, I mean the industry, our industry. So if it's confusing, get unconfused, give us a call. You can always call us at 888-259-5380. Someone, myself, someone else will answer the phone or respond to an email or our, our support form on our website. And we'll help you. We'll answer those questions for you. But you got to know this stuff before you buy the chair. Because some people will get a chair and all of a sudden it's like, what? They don't have in-home warranty? <laughs> or what? Uh, they don't have a phone number I can call for help? Or what? They they uh, they uh, don't have parts available? Or what? They've got whatever. I, I bought an, an L-Track and it has an S or I bought an SL track and whatever. It's confusing. So get your questions answered before you make a decision to spend that kind of money. And we're very help, help, happy to help you with that. And I guess that's just about it. Uh, that's uh, all for this week's uh, Massage Chair Industry Update. If you have any questions, of course, like I told you, you can give us a call, 888-259-5380. Uh, you can feel free to uh, uh, reach out to us through our Twitter our Facebook, our uh, YouTube channel, through a support form on our website, the chat feature on our website. There are, or uh, there's so many ways that you can reach out. Also, you can text that toll-free number 888-259-5380. You don't have to call; you can text it if you want. So, anyways, I think that's it for this week. Um, be sure to check out our podcasts on uh, on Amazon, uh, or sorry, not Amazon, uh, uh, Apple Podcasts, or on on, on Spotify, uh, or of course you can go to uh, you can go to uh, you know watch this on any of our, our our social media platforms. But we appreciate you being here today, and I hope you have a wonderful two weeks. I'm going to see you again in two weeks. My name is Dr. Alan Widener, and I hope you have a great day. Bye bye.